Many 90s kids grew up adoring Steve Burns from the Nickelodeon children's show Blue's Clues. The actor was famous for the green-striped shirt he wore on the series and his full head of dark hair. Here's how Burns' look has changed and what he's up to now. Steve Burns' trademark dark locks are no more. Recent photos of him show off his bald head, which is due to hair loss, something that the actor has been open about. During the 2006 Nickelodeon special Behind the Clues, 10 Years with Blue, Burns admitted that his hair loss was actually the main reason he left Blue's Clues. He said, I knew I wasn't going to be doing children's television all my life, mostly because I refused to lose my hair on a kid's TV show, and it was happening fast. According to Entertainment Weekly, Burns started to lose his hair at age 29. Many rumors had floated around about Burns after his departure from Blue's Clues, like that he'd gotten into a car crash or turned to drugs. But the truth isn't quite so sensational. It seems he just wanted to go bald in private. Because I wasn't famous, really. I would tell everybody that I was famish, which, <laughs> which is actually different. During his original audition, Steve Burns actually had a totally different hairstyle and looked nothing like the series' eventual Steve character. In a 1999 interview with the New York Times, Burns says he had long hair and an earring, looking like a skate rat. At the time, he mostly auditioned for voiceover roles, so he thought his appearance didn't matter, according to Spin Magazine. Network executives weren't a fan of his grungy look, but Burns was the clear favorite of Nickelodeon's preschool test audiences. Blue's Clues creator and executive producer Tracy Page Johnson told Spin magazine. Of the 100 people we auditioned, he was by far the realest. He loved kids, but he didn't want to make a career out of it. And that turned out to be true. While Burns spent five successful years on Blue's Clues, he moved on in 2002 and pursued his next chapter, music. In his post-Blue's Clues life, Steve Burns has pursued many of his passions, including more acting and also music. A year after leaving the Nickelodeon series, Burns released his first album, Songs for Dust Mites, which he worked on with various members of the band The Flame Lips. The album song Mighty Little Man, featuring Stephen Drozd of the Flaming Lips, became the theme song to the CBS sitcom Young Sheldon. In 2009, Burns released his second album, Deep Sea Recovery Efforts, with his band The Struggle. Meanwhile, he continued acting. Burns appeared in the movies Nether Beast Incorporated and Christmas on Mars, along with the TV series Young Sheldon and The Professionals. Some things don't change. Do you have my money? No. Good. Steve Burns is still on good terms with Blue's Clues and has returned to its universe several times. In 2019, Burns guest starred in the premiere of Nickelodeon's revival series, Blue's Clues and You, now starring Josh De La Cruz. Burns appeared along with Steve's on-screen brother, Joe, played by Donovan Patton. During the premiere episode, Blue's Clues stump Josh, so he calls his cousins Joe and Steve for help. In a trick of clever costuming, Steve doesn't appear bald, though he sports a tie, a trench coat, and a fedora to hide his lack of hair from the audience. But even though he looked way more adult in the episode, Steve showed kids that he still carries around a handy-dandy notebook to take down clues. Burns made a second appearance in December 2020, reprising his role in the Blue's Clues and You holiday episode. The character Steve returns, this time wearing a Santa hat, to help Blue and Josh decorate their Christmas tree. So, if Slippery really loves playing in the snow, which of these decorations would he love? Burns' look has definitely transformed over the years, but it's nice to see that he'll always have a place in the Blue's Clues world. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV personalities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.